Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. A long time staple of the American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose, California. Here is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Cain Velazquez. Now back injuries have become a big part of the narrative, but there is no denying when Cain Velazquez is healthy and he is on, you can't stop his takedowns. The kicks have really evolved to become a powerful weapon for him. Cain Velazquez on his best night still can compete with the best heavyweights in the world. Cain Velazquez is the very best of the new breed of heavyweight. He has no weaknesses in his game. He has incredible cardio, accurate technique in his striking, and his wrestling is top notch. martial arts. Bruce Lee making the walk tonight. You can make the argument no man has had as much of an influence on UFC fighters as Bruce Lee has. Quoted as saying the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Man, it would have been great to see what Bruce Lee could have done inside the UFC. He is making the walk tonight. Apparently he worked tremendously hard on cardio for this camp. for this, our main event of the evening. Velazquez is four years the elder. He weighed in at 240 pounds. He will have a five inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. And now for his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right go, now. Go, I'm very Are excited. Go, well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one-night tournament. Oh, how clean is that jab by Cain Velasquez? Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see. Oh, that's some wrestling right there. And now is where things could get really interesting. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Excellent posture here. Hammer fist gets through. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Huge the elbow, there. elbow to the head. Half guard. 
Just over three minutes to go round one. Now he's in half guard. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Velasquez. Transitions to full guard. Lee gets caught with that punch, making all these shots count. Velasquez gets back up, no surprise there. That strike will count. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. Look at that nasty jab. Try to take him down with the slam. Takedown defense holds up. A clean takedown by Cain Velasquez. Postures up here. Moves to half guard. And into full mount. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Final seconds here in round one. Round two next. Here's a big suplex. Let's take a look at that again. And here's a very nicely executed double leg takedown. Incredible highlights in that round. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. Staying busy. Lands a strike there. Big body punch. Trying to take the back here. Joe, the hammer fists keep on coming. They're getting blocked here. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Working from the mounted crucifix. He lands a huge elbow to the head. Now he's working from north-south. Oh, he's got a north-south choke here. From the north-south position to get the choke, what he wants to do is get his arm under the back of the neck. Once he's got the arm under the back of the neck, locking it in place, he needs to get his left hand and his right hand together. So he has to move the other arm out of the way, Clasp the two hands together, drop his weight. That's it. That's it. Use great technique to get the choke and get the win. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out.
And here we see it from another angle. Beautiful technique here. And the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career. And it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest. At two minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. To join the winner by tap out, Kane Velazquez! Well, those who tried to bury Kane Velazquez, you've got to say that was a premature assessment after this performance here tonight. Massive victory for Cardio Kane, the former two-time UFC heavyweight champion. Thank you for it's watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.